again. Today I'll tell you how we improve the player experience. The original Prince of Persia, The Shadow and the Flame, offered a lot of varied environment. Unfortunately, the environment looked similar, the path was confusing from time to time, and the player get lost. Also, the original game feels flat. At the time, it was a great game, but for today's standards, it feels flat, it looks flat, and it sounds flat. We needed to improve it. One of our main objectives was to have state-of-the-art audio and visuals. Younes Garab, our art director, um, worked a lot to create a strong and consistent thematic for each level and for each area in the game. The engine we used to make the game, Shiba 3D, let us improve a lot the lighting and the VFX. We needed to use the lighting to create depth with a lot of contrast in the levels. And the VFX were used all over the place, of course, but especially to give the feeling of power during the combat. The audio of the game was also very much improved. We decided during the levels to use mainly environmental atmospheric audio and to use music only at specific critical moments. This music is the same as the original one, but played with traditional acoustic instruments to give the specific identity to the game. Another objective we had with the team was to provide a more meaningful experience compared to the original one. One way to do that was to break this flat back wall in the level to make sure the player knows where he is and why he's there. Another way of giving more meaning to the experience was to give the player memorable moments, some moments he would remember after playing. So we asked level designers and level artists to actually build those moments and make sure they were properly memorable. About the navigation itself, we wanted the player to be able to know what was the main uh, path, the critical path to go from the entrance to the exit, and also to be able to explore the levels and discover several secondary paths, usually more difficult to access, but more rewarding. The game offers another level of depth in the navigation. When you approach an enemy, you can do that in two different ways. You can approach directly, facing the enemy and fighting, but you can also, through an alternate path, approach the enemy in the back and surprise him. To give more meaning, we also change the way we are telling the story to the player. We turn the cinematics into very short and sweet moments, and focused on the in-game storytelling. We wanted to describe the prince journey throughout the game. We wanted the player to feel and understand the story at a very high level with the world map and the area map, but also at a very, very low level throughout each level. At a low level, we used staging to tell stories inside the story. You can face ambush and be attacked by a lot of enemies at the same time. You can face boss. You can see enemies talking with each other or talking to you. With all those elements, we made sure the game was more fulfilling more immersive.
Thank you for watching. We hope you'll enjoy the game. Goodbye.